dude, this team causes depression. Being a Giants fan, it was fun when, it, when I was younger. You know, when I was a kid and we were actually winning games. But as, as I've gotten older, we just suck and suck and suck. When can we just win? Is that so hard to ask? The last time we had a winning season was when I was in middle school. And I'm a high school graduate, man. Why? This team is so disappointing. The First off, scoring 17 points against one of the worst defenses in the league. That's disgraceful. I don't care if we don't have... I know we don't have Barkley or Galladay. Shepard was out the game. Tony got hurt even though he came back. Um, who else did we miss? But still, 20, 17 points against one of the worst defenses is not good. Two, some of the play calling was dumb, but some was good. The beginning of the game, I loved the play calling, but as the game went on, it got worse and worse, in my opinion. Secondly, all these flags, I know most of the flags were in our favor, and I can't even lie about that, but jumping off sides and then getting an interception and then it doesn't count, that kills us. This team is making me so depressed, man. Why do I even root for this team anymore? Why do I still watch football? But, you know, I'm loyal to my team. I'm watching the, I was watching the Manning cast because, you know, that's actually the good one where Manning's, Peyton, and Eli because, you know, they're funny. Joe Judge, this man uses timeouts like it's nothing. And, like, those three, if we had at least two timeouts in the last drive, it would have been good. It would have been fine. But, no, we had zero timeouts, which made it a lot worse. Secondly, Daniel Jones played a good game. Not great, not bad, just a decently good game. But what do you think you're supposed to do when it's the final minute, under, uh, even under a minute? What are you supposed to do? Throw the ball, complete it, throw it out, and then throw it, go out of bounds, right? Not take back-to-back -back sacks on third down. No, on second down and fourth down. Like... This offense is bad. They need to fire Jason Garrett first off. I don't know why the hell he's still an offensive coordinator in the league. Because, like, we paid all this money for this team to be better, but we look worse than we what we did last year. I mean, the offense looks better. Defense looks worse than last year. It's ridiculous. I mean, Galladay, we gave him all that money. Fortunately, he's been injured. We can't help that, even though right now it looks like a big waste of money that we did. Um... Slayton pissed me off with those drops and a few of those game like slant like a slant route which was delayed by the way by Daniel Jones which I don't know why they called a slant they should have just ran the damn ball, and then Slayton tried to catch it but it looked like he just pit it up in the air like it was freaking volleyball, like this this team's ridiculous man, we need a fresh restart because Dave Gettleman's rebuild is obviously not working. All these coaches we've hired hasn't worked. Freaking, our best coach that we had was Ben McAdoo, and that was for one season. Pat Shermer sucked. Joe Judge, he looked good last year, even though we sucked. But he looked, he took a huge downgrade this year. He sucks. He doesn't look like he's the right man for the job at the moment. We just need a fresh rebuild, new everything. Even if it takes two, three years. Because the Bengals drafted Joe Burrow in 2020. Literally, they're now 5-2 and two in playoff contention right now. The Cardinals drafted Kyler Murray the same year Daniel Jones was drafted. And look at them. 7-1, and 8-1, and one, whatever. Like, we, we just dig ourselves in a big hole we can't get ourselves out of. One step forward and like 10 million steps back. But it was a good game. I, I enjoyed it. You know, not the bad stuff, of course, but good job, Kansas City.